Hi guys, so this is part two of the exercise in a cast video, preferably to be done after a warm up. So I like to begin with a standing head to knee type pose, but without the head to knee bit, just getting your balance on the wall, straightening out your leg, both of your legs. <laughs> just stretch there. And then the standing bow pose, get your balance uh, holding onto the wall if you want. These, these two are optional, and then just try and stretch deeper down. Okay, so <laughs> probably better to do these on the mat, have less chance of falling. This is the Cobra, it's really good for your lower back, so using your lower back muscles, you go up like that, you can inhale as you go up. The reason I put my hands off the mat there is just to show you that you should be using your back muscles and not your arms to lift you up. And your arms, like your thumbs should be the same um, level as your nipples <laughs> when you go up for the correct hand position. So that's really good to get that movement, like I said before, back into your lower back. Then like to do the locust pose or my excuse, my poor excuse for a locust pose. So you just put your arms underneath you and lift your legs up. Using your lower back and your thighs again. Again, that's optional. Just lying there for a minute. I'm going through these really fast. <laughs> you would do these much longer. So this is the bow pose. You can, by the way, you can stop any time uh, during the clip and just do the movements as many times as you want to. Again, this is just to get some movement back into your back and your body in general after sitting down all the time. And then do a little... Uh, child pose type stretch then we're going to move on to these uh, 80s video type pose um, <laughs> exercises but they're really great for um, sort of making that muscle on your broken or injured leg working because you know it's, otherwise it's just stagnant it's not doing anything so these are great to get some some muscle work going and then what you do to one leg do to the other but this one is um, using the inner thigh there and again I like to do about a hundred each uh, on each side of these just so I can actually feel like I've done some work yeah. and I'm just gonna show you the other side <laughs> I think yeah so the 80s video exercise video type thing going on but they're really good for situations like this and when you do a hundred you you can actually feel you actually do feel like you've done something and then the inner thigh with that like and actually the weight of the cast is really good um, for your getting your inner thigh working now I'm going to move on to doing a, I don't know what this is called, <laughs> but just putting your legs up like that. Actually, you know, you should have your leg up, like the doctor says, um, just get the circulation you know, back down. And I like to do this. Obviously, this is optional. It just really gives a really good stretch for my spine. Obviously, do this if you can. If you can't, just hold your legs up uh, as straight as possible. Don't like arch your back, and only if it's comfortable. Obviously, and this is a really good deep stretch if you can do it don't force anything for 
good lord like don't force anything <laughs> especially if you're in a situation like with a broken or injured leg or something the last thing you want is another injury on your body and then just come out of it slowly as possible like i'm going to be here right next to counteract that position just um put your um hands underneath your butt and so that your palms are touching the ground and just lift your back up this probably look might i don't know to some people look harder than it actually is but it's really not just to counteract the pose we've just been in these are more yoga moves. These are great for stretching out your body and you know, still like that. Yeah, and you can just lie for as long as you want. Get that um, the blood flowing through, etc. Now I like to do some ab workout. Again, put your the palms of your hands on the mat under your butt. Uh, support your back and just lift your legs six inches of the ground and I usually like to time it and do it for at least a minute more if I can hold it <laughs> usually not <laughs> and yeah so you can do that this is um, I'm gonna do a Pilates type move again I am sorry but I forgot what this is called this is great for your abs for your core you really want to keep your core um, intact when doing this and the reason I like to work the core um, especially now with the cast is because um, I mean you're sitting down so much and it's just important to have good posture and to keep your muscles engaged even though you're not doing much <laughs> or because you're not doing much and this is a great stretch you know try and keep your knees straight you don't need to go down like me You can bend as deep as you want. Just make sure you're doing it the right way, that nothing's hurting you. Yeah. Just move your body and uh, lengthen out your muscles as much as possible. Because I'm sure you need to. <laughs> I know I do anyway. And do the same to the other leg. Yeah, the poses I did at the beginning, um, I don't really usually do them as just an option, an extra option. I wanted to show you because I like to do everything like the same to one side as I do to the other, just feels equal in the body, otherwise, I feel a bit unbalanced if I don't do the same thing to one side as the other and I think I'm going to show you now a uh, movement again it just feels really good for the legs you go in like that and you just move your arms to the front and what your whole body and then move to the other leg to the other foot you can do that as many times as you want. Again, you can pause this video at any point and just do the poses or whichever pose that you like to <laughs> or think you would like to do. This, these are just some poses that I've been doing that have really helped me. And again, you can sit with your both of your legs out in front of you, stretch up, you can inhale and exhale and bend down. Try and keep your back straight not like me in this <laughs> in this video my back isn't completely straight there you can
take your sitting bones up from under your butt so you just lift your butt up basically with your hands <laughs> that can allow you to bend deeper it just feels really good now I'm coming to the end of the video I like to do a little meditation at the end and just sit with your legs crossed or however is you know most comfortable for you at this point and um, putting your palms of your hands on your knees so you're directing your energy towards your yourself healing yourself and just think about you know how lucky you are to have the rest of your functioning body and uh, oh you can put a pillow under your bottom so you're not hunched over so just sit back and appreciate everything else in life. Thanks for watching.